One of the more interesting races may test one's loyalties to their party against their own ideology. Case in point, a Republican Party candidate who was chased from the race, not by her opponent, but from key members of her own party. Seen as Jim Acosta explains. Just call me Dee Dee. It was like Halloween candy for conservatives. Dee Dee Scozafava, the embattled Republican candidate for Congress in upstate New York, didn't just drop out of the race. She was practically thrown under the party bus by a parade of GOP leaders in favor of Doug Hoffman, the self-described conservative party candidate. We're fighting for our children and our grandchildren's future. We're in the middle, I think, of a political rebellion going on in America. Uh, and this, this rebellion is, are by people who really have not been actively involved in the political process. And they don't really care whether you're a Democrat or, or a Republican. House Minority Leader John Boehner credits conservatives who protested President Obama's agenda at tea parties and town halls across the country for grabbing the GOP's attention. But Boehner worries whether some went over the top. I'm, I'm a big believer in Ronald Reagan's 11th Commandment. Uh, 11th Commandment, never talk ill about another Republican. That was not followed in this race. I know. Former Alaska Governor Sarah Palin was one of Scozafava's biggest critics, saying on her Facebook page, there is no real difference between the Democrat and the Republican in this race. Dee Scozafava. A pro-abortion rights and pro-stimulus Republican, Scozafava said in a statement after dropping out, I've been unable to effectively address many of the charges that have been made about my record. The GOP split has given the Democrat in the race, Bill Owens, a fighting chance to win a district that's normally a slam dunk for Republicans. It's rather telling when the Republican Party forces out a, re a moderate Republican, and it says, t I think, a great deal about where the Republican Party leadership is right now. I think it's becoming more and more extreme and more and more marginalized. Tell that to Rush Limbaugh. The Republican Party needs to learn something. If it goes country club blue blood moderate, it's going to lose. If it goes Reagan conservative, conservative and commits to it, it's going to win landslides. And Jim Acosta is joining us now live from Washington with more on this. So, Jim, we understand the former Republican candidate has now endorsed the Democrat in that race. That's right. It only gets more interesting in upstate New York. Didi Scozafava has actually come out and endorsed Bill Owens, the Democrat in that race, mm -hmm. after she was really besieged by conservatives. Uh, not a big surprise there that she would do that. Now the big question is, is how this affects the outcome. Uh, Doug Hoffman, the conservative in that race, is, uh, is apparently pretty far ahead, according to some late, late uh, in, the, uh, in this uh, count contest polling. Uh, but it's unclear as to what the uh, final outcome will be. It's, it's really too close to call at this point. Yeah, and then also uh, considering what the implications could be for the GOP on, on a national scale. Right. A lot of people are asking questions. What does this mean for other races uh, in, in next year's midterms? Charlie Crist, the governor of Florida, mm -hmm. uh, is running for a Senate seat there. He's got a very strong primary challenge right now from Marco Rubio, a Cuban-American uh, conservative down there. A lot of conservatives are already talking about uh, jumping ship with uh, Charlie Crist and, and jumping on the Rubio campaign. Uh, down in Texas, uh, Sarah Palin has, has weighed in down there and sided with Rick Perry against his uh, GOP challenger, Kay Bailey Hutchinson, uh, the uh, senator from uh, Texas, uh, who is now leaving that seat to run for governor down there. So uh, this is, a, this is a, a big debate that's going on inside the GOP. Some of it played up, of course, by uh, Democrats. You saw the White House uh, senior advisor, Valerie Jarrett, talking about that, yeah. uh, and, which is, of course, uh, not, uh, not that uh, bit surprising in all of this, considering they're in a very tough political climate right now, Heidi. Yeah, absolutely. All right. It's uh, only getting more interesting by the day. Running out of time, though. Jim Acosta, yeah. sure to appreciate it. Thank you.